Hey guys, today I'd like to talk about a small CCTV system for camera kit and we're going to go through the basic setup. It's uh, four small cameras. Uh, it is comes with uh, cables for it, it's a 20 meter cables. If you need longer one you can order longer one, but uh, it's a standard package. And power supply and this is the cameras. Small nice neat little cameras. And uh, underneath is a recorder. small little neat DVR. It doesn't have a hard drive but I have a hard drive and um, my own my own hard drive so I was going to show you how to install the hard drive and how to initialize this uh, system. Um, I open up this DVR and basically there is already connections for the hard drive. It is a um, SATA 3.5 uh, hard drives and I have one terabyte so all it's gonna do is just mount this into the DVR and power up the system. We installed a hard drive inside of the DVR. Now it's gonna power up and go through the basic settings of this DVR. It brings us into the a boot hop wizard. Now I'm not going to do it, so uh, I'm going to exit this. And basically, what I want to do is connect one camera into the system. Okay, so I'm plugging in this camera. In. Well, I'm going to leave this camera lying there, and we come back to the settings of this DVR. With this, uh, basically, most of the DVRs are coming with. Um, Pretty much preset settings so uh, you shouldn't need to change a lot of them this is basic DVR system so there's not much you probably would do but uh, at the same time there is some settings are here so if we're going into the main menu first of all record mode that means there's a three different modes and you can set them as automatic recording manual or off we leave that as automatic shouldn't change it you also can set as a manual but then there is a presets for that needs to be done. So we're leaving as automatic. Uh, next, video mode. Here the video mode. Um, basically you can set, at the moment it's set as a regular recording, which means that it's recording constantly, but you can change that setting to uh, motion detection. Detection, detect mode. If somebody walking past by camera, the recording pre-records four seconds before and after of that motion time so it saves a space so that's all it is now with backup that means that when you need to make a footage you can uh, make a clip you can install you can insert a USB stick inside of this DVR and you will be able to record that onto the USB stick so that's all it is network Okay, with network settings are for uh, remote viewing or for the LAN setup. You can view this CCTV system uh, on the LAN, on your home network, or you can uh, connect that to the internet and you can uh, view this remotely. Now, but this DVR has a very simple network connection called P2P uh, Cloud, which is allows you to download an app on your phone or Android phone, scan this this code, QR code, and it connects you directly uh, without any hassle with the port forwarding or without anything else. So it's very very simple and very easy to use. And I was going to show you later on.
how to do it. So for now, I'm coming back to the menu. PTZ configuration, that is for configuration if you have a, a PTZ camera, which we don't have and I'm not going to do that, not going to go through that. HDD management, that's the hard drive management. As you can see, we installed one terabyte hard drive and everything is okay there. So we're not going to do anything with that. And the last is left is a system setup. That's basically the general settings. This settings very rarely needs to be changed. Only is the time and date. That's all it is. Apart from that, nothing. Then you can add few accounts if you need to allocate few different accounts. After those all settings, I just want to go and show you how to play back a video on this. So basically, in the main menu, there is a playback. You press playback and brings you to this uh, screen. Okay, in this screen you have a date time and you have channels. In our case we have a, a camera set onto the channel 3. It, the number 1 is highlighted black. You actually have to turn off that number 1 and you have to turn on number 3. And that changed to the channel 3. So channel 3, we have a date and we press play. And here we have, you can drag down uh, to the time that it's been recorded. That's how much we have time recorded. So that's that's basically when we plugged in the camera. So it's 17.33. And you can basically fast forward by the button by two times, four times and so on and skip through the whole basically video. As you can see it's fast forwarding. So that's all. That's recording. Now we come back out and I want to talk to you about uh, PT Cloud. That's basically PT Cloud for remote viewing. Uh, as you can see, Cloud the service is enabled. Uh, it's showing disconnected because uh, I haven't connected to the internet. So what I'm going to do is going to get a cable, connect to my router, and I'm going to show you how to set up an app on your phone for remote viewing. Uh, I just plugged in the internet cable. And as you can see, it's showing, telling me that it's connecting. While it's connecting, let's set up and um, let's find the app and set that up. So I have Android phone. Basically, it's going to turn on a Q reader. And it just and gives us a link. So um, just open the link. Google Play. Okay, just once. And here we go, we have an app that we're going to install it and see how that's going to work. So after we downloaded our app, which is going in into the app, if we are connected to the same LAN, device is empty, add device. Okay, so it's asking us to add device, yes. If we want to add, so you can scan that scanner or you can manually enter, it, uh, enter uh, the ID or if we connected with the phone on the same Wi-Fi that our uh, home network, you just press a LAN search. Here it is. It's found straight away. It's a four-channel DVR, so we're going to set a four-channel. Uh, you can call wherever you want. We call it DVR, DVR, and you just press save. So that's it. Now we have this channel saved. It's showing here. So all we do we just press and there's a four cameras there. So we just press number three. And here we go. We have full picture. Without any hassle, without poor forwarding or without anything else. Uh, straightforward with this ID. That's pretty much all what I wanted to show you. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoy this video and I hope uh, this video also was useful for someone 